Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, or evening, wherever you're joining us from. My name is uh, Julio Perez, and a uh, quick agenda for today is going to be a, a quick explainer about PaperSave if you're new to, to PaperSave. I know that we, we have a, a mix in the room of, of new customers or existing. So a quick explanation about PaperSave. We're going to go over my top five tips and tricks and, and demo those, and also as Farah mentioned, we will have a, a live functional uh, QA at the end. So a little bit about myself. My name is Julio Perez again. Uh, I've been here with PaperSafe for a little bit over 15 years. I started with our support team, worked my, worked, uh, my way up to services for a little bit. So I, I have some knowledge on on supporting the software, implementing the software. And now I am helping the sales team uh, do demonstrations and, and uh, go in depth as to what the software can and cannot do. So quite a little bit of experience here on the paper safe side and, and uh, anything that, that you folks need, uh, I am here to help. So paper safe for Razor's Edge is a natively integrated gift automation solution with centralized document management and up to 100% accuracy in OCR. Really what that means is that PaperSave is a gift automation software that is going to allow your users a central spot to access documents and be able to be in touch with those gifts that they're being processed. PaperSave sits within BlackBot, Razor's Edge, NXT window, which we'll see here in a little bit, to provide an unparalleled donation management experience that has been tailored to BlackBart throughout 20 plus years of partnership. Okay, let's get to the next slide. So let's go ahead and dive right into it and, and let's look at my top tips and tricks. I wanna start off with, I think one of our, our, our most powerful one that I would wanna highlight is our gift automation process, right? So PaperSafe has the ability to automate the gift processing. Whether you're processing gifts within a batch or processing single gifts throughout the day, we can step in with a PaperSafe workflow to eliminate any kind of data entry issues or even facilitate the, the expedite of processing of gifts, right? So we can step in and help with processing gifts faster and eliminate some of the data entry issues uh, based on, on some of our configurations within our paper safe workflow. So let's take a look at what, what that entails. So there are many ways for you to add a document to a paper safe workflow. You can scan if you have a local scanner, you can have paper safe monitor an inbox of an email, or as I am doing here, you can simply drag and drop, all right? So once you drag and drop some files into the workflow, you can name your batch. If you are processing a gift and you normally name batches, you can go ahead and name your batch if you like to, or have a auto-generated batch that you can use, right? We also have spots here for you to tell PaperSafe how many gifts are within your batch and what the total amount so that PaperSafe can help with some of that calculation. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. So the first thing that happens when you add something into a gift automation workflow is that OCR takes place. OCR is our optical character recognition where really just means that we're reading the faces of your checks looking at this constituent address and searching this address against your BlackBot database to find the right constituent, right? So we do this to also ensure data accuracy. Users are not having to type in a constituent name. PaperSafe is using this information and searching your BlackBot database to pull the right constituent based on the address that exists at that constituent level. Alongside with that, PaperSafe will, is going to capture the gift amount, gift date, description, and if you would like, we can also capture check information such as bank routing information 
into a profile field. So paper safe profile fields are used to later create the gift into the system for you to alleviate that manual data entry that, that gift processors are often having to do. So for example, now OCR has finished, it looked for this address against my constituent database, and now it found the right constituent for me. Oh, it looks like we had a little bit of a hiccup here. Just give it a second. So with OCR searching for that constituent, we now have that bit of information less that the user has to key in for itself. And again, we picked up the amount, check date, donation type, bank information. And really all the user has to do at this point is submit all of those items into the gift processing, right? So for example, if you're having PaperSafe monitor an email, this would be an automated process. Your gifts would come in either scanned into an email, PaperSafe monitoring an email. All those gifts are pulled into a workflow. OCR happens. And now the gift processor, all has to do is look at their batch and just validate that OCR has picked up all of the right information. If by any chance they need to make any adjustments, it's a simple click and adjust. There's also ways for you to teach OCR where the right information is in the event that it doesn't pull the right information. But as you can see, it was pretty accurate. It tells you where that information was put from, pulled from. You also have your backgrounding information that again uh, could be added if need be. Ultimately, your gift processor is going to validate all of the information was captured, your fund ID, appeal ID, make sure that OCR was able to capture all of that. You have your batch tagged, and then simply once validation is complete, you would hit submit, which sends all of your gifts into RENXT for your approval, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. So if we go to gift management, here is our batch, right? We actually have two. One that I submitted earlier, and this is my current batch. Right, and it's still being populated. So if you give it a couple of seconds here, you will have all of your items put through, right? And we can look at this one as an example. So PaperSafe grabbed all of the gifts that were in our workflow with all of the information from within those fields. And we actually created the batch for, for the gift processor, right? With all of the information that we captured throughout our workflow. user. Just simply selects all, approves the batch. And now the gift is accessible from within the constituent. OK, this is one here. So here is what we were able to create through auto entry. And alongside with that, paper save document is attached, okay? Which should be right here. So as you can see, paper save is centralized. Paper save is a native tile within NXT. So you will see that quite often as we are going through our demo. But we now have created that batch for you, right? And here is the one that we would show processing. Here are all of the information that we were able to create, select all and approved. All right, so simple as that. Items are approved. Your batch has now been approved and you can go into your record and pull up your documents. Simple as, as that, pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty uh, centralized from within paper save. So this helps you with alleviating some of that manual entry that your users are having to do, we are able to create the batch for the client. So the next thing I want to talk about here is our redaction. So PaperSafe has two methods of redaction 
we can actually read that manually as a part of an annotation. And now we also have redaction in transit. So when checks are being scanned into one of our gift processing workflows, redaction can be applied automatically so that we can take out some of that sensitive information that you don't want to be kept in the system, right? Some clients don't mind having check information in paper safe. Some clients want to make sure that some of that check information is redacted, right? So two methods of redaction, one through annotation, and the second one, which would be through automatic redaction when something is being scanned into the system, right? So let's take a look at what that entails. So for example, we can take a look at one of our items. If by any chance I wanna redact my account information, which can simply blank that out, all right? So now that is a permanent redaction. So once you redact an account information, you are not able to take that away. So even if you save a copy of this document to the desktop, it will save with that redaction. So that's a neat uh, function that we have. And again, we can do that manually through our annotations, or we can also do that automatically as the items come in through, through your workflow. So pretty neat to, again, to keep your data uh, secured and, and, and safe if redaction is needed. That's something we can definitely, definitely use. So my third tip of today is going to be our browse function. So a lot of clients are unaware that PaperSafe has a browse function. Really what browse does is that it allows to it allows for non razor's edge users to have some access to documents that have been put into paper safe from an outside of of razor's edge standpoint right this is all governed and managed by security of course but we are again trying to be as central and as as uh, available to your users as possible so with our paper safe browse users are able to navigate and look for documents that may have been added into the system previously, right? So let's go ahead and, and take a look at that. And again, everything happens from our paper safe welcome page, right? Our paper safe welcome page is one of those ways that we show how central we are and how easily accessible paper safe is. So paper safe browse, it's right top of the menu. And again, paper safe browse will allow your users, there are maybe not Razor's Edge users, access to some of that documents and data that we're capturing and adding into the system, right? But from an outside of, of, uh, of Razor's Edge standpoint, right? And this, again, just ways for us to be more central and allow users to be able to access some of this data from an outside of paper safe standpoint. From within here, if a user has the ability to if it has the permissions, the users can see documents, share documents, right? So again, you can send a copy of a document to somebody within the organization. As long as they have access for, for PaperSafe, they'll be able to pull that document right up. And this is through our PaperSafe browse. All right, so let's go ahead and move to our tip and trick number four of today. It's going to be our search. So PaperSafe does have a pretty uh, capable search, uh, whether it is simple, which searches not only our profile fields that you saw during our workflow section, but it also searches content of the document. We also have an advanced search that you can build some conditions to pull data specific to your inquiry. So for example, you can pull constituent, a specific uh, batch for constituent or specific uh, date range of gifts that, that have been entered for a constituent. So let's take a look at that. So from within paper save, we can go to search and I will use 
one of our batch numbers as an example, right? And so for example, you can go ahead and enter a batch number. Paper save is going to search not only the workflow, but it's going to search records as well and pull anything that contains that information. So a quick way to pull out information from paper save and from Razor's Edge when it comes to, I wanna know everything that was in a specific batch. Boom, just put in your batch number, hit search, and then you'll have all of those items returned to you. Just go ahead and open them. You'll have workflow information here as well, right? These all came through a workflow. So you have your workflow history and you have all of those profile fields that OCR captured and that helped create the gift into the system accessible anytime that you view the document. So that's uh, our simple search. Our advanced search, so our advanced search, as I've mentioned, is going to allow you to create conditions, right? If and ors here. So for example, I wanna add a condition and I wanna say a specific constituent equals to, and then here again, paper safe searching your black bot data, right? And let's say I wanna use uh, next gen as an example, here it is. And then, I could simply say search, right? It's just gonna give me all documents that are associated to that constituent. But what about if I wanna get a little bit more specific, right? So I can go ahead and add another condition and say uh, gift date, right? It's about anything that is less than 2020, right? Can you go ahead and show me anything that's less than 2020, all right? And just if you wanted to get a little bit more, just see the possibilities. Right, anything that we create as a profile field, right? Here is your gift amount, check date, type, fund IDs. These are all things that you can use as filters for your search, right? And then simply one sec. So you will simply click search and we'll return that value for us, right? There it is, one second. I apologize, it seems like we might having some connection issues there, but I uh, should be back here in just a second. So once you get your, your results returned from your search, not only are you going to be able to share those with people, which we'll see here in, in a second, but you'll be able to download that information to Excel, for example, and share it that way for, for auditors purposes or so on, right? So here again, click search and based on our criteria, we're gonna get all of our items returned, right? Where you can select and for central capabilities here or for sharing capabilities, you can email us an attachment, email a link or download all of these files into an Excel and send that to an auditor, for example, okay? So with advanced search, again, you're able to build yourself specific search criteria and have those values returned and export that, save that to a query or Excel uh, as needed. All right, so let's go ahead and now uh, take a look at our next item which is interrelated documents. So this is actually a pretty neat one. So interrelated documents is basically paper save respects the relationship between transactions in Razor's Edge, right? So for example, uh, I'll give you the constituent to a gift as an example, right? So for every constituent, normally gifts are associated, right? In paper save, you are able to add documents directly to constituents, and you're also able to add documents directly to gifts that are associated to that constituent. With our interrelated documents, PaperSafe will allow you to see documents that are not only associated or scanned directly at the constituent, but any documents that also are attached to that gift under that constituent, okay? And we can use that as, as good means for reporting or for auditing purposes. If somebody asks to provide all documents to a specific constituent, then we can do that 
pretty easily. So we'll use NextGen as a, an example. So paper save is loading for us. So here it is, right? So right now, this constituent has two documents attached to it, right? If I click my interrelated document icon, which is these two little boxes, paper save is going to show me not only those documents, but all gifts associated to that constituent, right? So not only am I looking at the constituent documents that were added directly to that constituent, but all the gifts that have been added to that constituent as, as the life of that constituent grows, um, all of those gifts, all of those documents that PaperSave is associating, you can pull all of those through interrelated uh, documents here. And again, you can select all and share as needed. Okay. So with that said, I do want to have uh, an, an honorable mention here, which is our export to Excel, right? Uh, if you've been, we're looking closely to our demos, uh, there are export to Excel options here, right? And again, can be used as means for you to share the information, uh, share information with auditors. If you don't want them to be uh, in paper safe searching for information, you can search your specific criteria, export that to Excel. And as long as that auditor has a, a paper save account, right, they'll be able to see data corresponding data corresponding to the GIFs and the constituent documentation, right? Which also, if you don't wanna see some of these fields, some of these columns, you can just simply hide them, right? But here you can provide this to a user or, or an auditor and they can click on those hyperlinks and those hyperlinks will take them directly to the document, right? So, and we'll see that here in just a second. So you can provide somebody an Excel sheet and in that Excel sheet, they can navigate straight to the document. Now for auditing purposes, and for, for accessibility to paper safe documents, you're gonna wanna make sure that that auditor or that external user, for example, has access to paper safe, right? Because they can click on those hyperlinks directly from that report and get to the document, okay? Now, if you wanna see more, if you wanna have a demo, uh, please feel free to reach out to us at any point. Uh, visit pearsoft.com or just send us an info email and, and ask any questions that you may, may want. We can uh, probably expand and, and have a personal demo. Our account managers will be able to reach out and, and, and talk to you further about any questions or any inquiries that you may have. With that, um, I pass it over to you. Thank, thank you, you so much, Julia. That was awesome. And thank you everyone for your Q&A questions so far. We do have a, a lot that was submitted previously and right now, but if you want to keep them coming, uh, we do have AMs and people on the line who will individually write back to you. Um, to start it off with, we did have one, Julio, that I wanted to get to that was sent to us ahead of time. Sure. It's, is there a way to remove unwanted pages from paper save instead of deleting the entire document? That's that's a great question. That that um is absolutely a possibility, right? It really depends on the version that you're on. Uh, but within our latest versions, there are ways for you to edit the document, remove a page without you having to delete the whole stack of documents. So that is a possibility. Great question. Cool. And then another one we got, um, and you may have answered this during the batch portion, if I enter my gifts in RE and I have a batch number, can I use this batch number and open all the gifts in that batch inside NXT? That's a great question. If, if you have, for example, your batch open and you have all of those items within the batch, you can, if you can uh, do, for example, like a query to show items within a batch. There's a, a show documents from query that you can use, right? That you can potentially provide that batch number and, and have the result 
return all of the documents from within that batch. So that's also, yes, a possibility. Cool. Another one that we got ahead of time. Uh, am I able to pair? This is actually a good question for that we receive at Pairsoft a lot since we also integrate with Blackboard Financial NXT. Am I able to pair this version of paper save for Blackboard RE NXT with my FE NXT setup if I have both? Yeah, that's a great question. Yes, absolutely. You can have paper save for RE NXT and paper save for FE NXT within the same paper safe deployment. So that's, that's a, a possibility. And we have quite a lot of clients that use that combination quite often. Cool. And then one that we got that I can answer, thank you for making me feel good because I know <laughs> this one <laughs> is the automation workflow that includes optical character recognition, a custom feature, or if you have paper safe, do you already have that ability? And I will answer that because we upgraded it this year and it's such huge tech, it is an add-on to paper save. But if you'd like to send us your contact info, um, we will actually contact you with your AM attached and they can talk to you about adding it on to your setup. But it is an invaluable feature to have as Julio demonstrated. Um, and then, so another one that I'll answer live, and Julio, this is a testament to you, <laughs> is Julio, can you provide your contact information? You're such a good contact to have for paper safe questions. That's 110% true, <laughs> because Julio is our in-house expert, and he actually does a lot of technical sales stuff. Uh, sometimes his time is split between that, but like we said, if you want to send us your contact info, and you can truly send us a hundred questions if you want about your software. We'll work with your AM and Julio to get them all answered for you in a good amount of time. Um, so we're really amenable to that. And we do love and appreciate Julio so much, not only for today, but for what he brings to Parasoft and PaperSave overall.